So today we're going to be talking about the word Desmo. Uh, this is a Ducati 899 Panigale cylinder head. Uh, if you've owned a Ducati, you've probably heard of the word Desmo. It normally comes in the same sentence as a very expensive bill when you're getting a Desmo service done. Desmo is actually short for Desmodronic and it refers to the way that the valves are controlled within the cylinder head. Um, it's not conventional, it doesn't use valve springs, it has positive uh, both opening and closing on the valves um, and we'll get into that by tearing this down showing the various components that are actually in this cylinder head and, and how it all fits together. Okay, so here's the 899 cylinder head. Um, what we'll do first is just go through the different components that we're going to see inside um, and then start pulling it apart. So essentially this is one of the valves and then the valve has a number of pieces that go on it. So it has the closing collar these have a specific thickness and these control the clearance between your closing cams and the uh, closing lifter or rocker. So this would slide over the valve. There's then two very small retaining clips that are very fiddly when the bike when the engine's in the bike. And they go around the valve. Like so. The collar then pulls up and locks against those. And that is what pulls the valve closed, it's pulled closed by that. There is then a shim. This shim, again numbered, this is a 2.85 shim. This goes on top of the valve, and this is what pushes the valve open. So that's your pressure where you're opening, the pressure when you're closing, opening and closing. Pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Conventionally, in a in a conventional engine using valve springs, there normally be a spring that sits under this collar and pulls the valve back out. And you would have something similar to this, which is the rocker, which sits on top and gets pushed down by the camshaft and will push that valve open and then back up and open, spring back up. In the case of Desmo, and this is the big difference, there isn't a spring under here. Instead, there's this sort of lever hook or the closing rocker arm, which hooks under the collar and gets pushed by a second cam on the camshaft to lift the valve. So it's actually positive closure. It's not based on a spring, it's positive engagement from this closing arm. And that is where the complexity of this drivetrain comes from. So if we now go back to the actual cylinder head, we've got the two sort of caps that hold the camshafts in place. We can just pull those off. Then you'll see the two camshafts are both driven by this single gear, and this gear is powered by the timing chain. So this comes up from the bottom of the engine, timing chain comes up, turns this and keeps the valves or the camshafts turning in uh, time with the engine, which lifts and lowers the valves in time with the piston going up and down. You'll see here the two flat surfaces should be aligned. Um, I'm actually holding this central gear in, not with a proper um, stud at the moment so it does have a bit of movement but when these are aligned these flat surfaces will be completely aligned there is a tool from Ducati you can get to hold these two together so that when you're putting them in you do ensure that alignment is perfect um, I'm just going to drop this gear out um, to make our life a bit easier okay so that gear is essentially just this the inner gear that turns the crankshaft, the camshafts themselves, and the outer gear that's run by the timing chain. On this camshaft, I've actually got nothing on this side of the engine. I've taken everything out. But under this one, we have the full the full works in this valve here. Okay, so this is our one working valve. This area here, essentially, um, everything else I've stripped out of this head. Um, but what we've got in here is the valve itself, the lifting collet the shim on top for the opening and then we've got our closing rocker here our opening rocker underneath here which I'll show you in a minute when I remove the camshaft and the camshaft itself so when we talk about Desmo the, the the key component really is this the closing rocker arm so we're talking about positive engagement to actually lift the valve and close the valve rather than relying on just a valve spring these are sprung um, and the exhaust valves are sprung quite heavily using this spring rather than this spring that's used for the intake, so quite a considerable difference there. Um, and the closing arm 
is also driven by this large cam and it's, it's this clearance that we want to check so when you're doing valve clearance checks you need the camshafts at their rest position so they they shouldn't be under compression against the uh, components of the valve train they should just be at rest position um, and then we want to use a feeler gauge so something like this and try and slide the feeler gauge between the two components so in this case it's less than 0.1 millimeters I'm not actually going to test this properly given that it's uh, on the bench and not bolted down or anything um, but the clearance for a closing rocker arm on the exhaust side should be 0 0.08 of a millimeter plus or minus 0 0.25 of a millimeter and the intake closing rocker, so the rocker that would be on this side that was closing the intake valves, should again be 0.08 plus or minus 0.25. Um, when we get to checking the opening rocker, so let's just spin this round quickly. The opening rocker, we're talking about this clearance here between the, the opening rocker arm and the small cam. So for this, I can slide in a feeler gauge again. Not a very good test because there's nothing's bolted down. Uh, but that's at 0.15 millimeters. Um, just to show you how to do it, don't don't rely on those numbers at all. Um, the correct clearances for that uh, on inspection is 0.1 millimeters plus or minus uh, 0.25 millimeters, and that is the same for the in the intake and the exhaust valves. So now I'm just going to lift this camshaft out so you can see what's actually going on. So we can now see clearly the two different. Um, rocker arms we've got here. So we've got the opening rocker arm, the closing rocker arm, and if you look at how they move, they move in harmony together. So when the camshaft is pushing the opener open, the closing arm moves towards the camshaft, and then when the closing cam pushes the closer away, the opener moves up. So that is why it's described as completely positive engagement, and there's Madronic. And you can see how that works by the way the camshafts are shaped. Maybe a small cam profile and then your big cam profile. You can see when the valve is pushed open versus when the valve is then held closed. Um, and that is that's pretty much it. So I'll just show you quickly how that looks on a bike. Um, and that's it. So this is the vertical cylinder of my 899 and essentially it is the full working cylinder head um, that has all four valves and both camshafts and is bolted in as per a proper cylinder head not like the one I've got on the bench so on here you can see the camshafts we've got the closing profiles here here and here we've got the opening profiles or cams there there and there Then underneath you've got your opening rockers here we've got the closing rockers And you can see here quite clearly the different springs for the intake versus the exhaust on the intake. Pretty skinny on the exhaust they are. Extremely hard to actually push these rockers into position when you install them and get the spring hooked into place. Um, a pair of pliers does help a lot. Um, and that's, pre that's pretty much it. So that is how the cylinder head comes together. That is Desmo. The clearances are actually quite easy to measure. Um, when the engine's out of the bike, when, when it's in the bike, it's really quite painful. Uh, but you can get feeler gauges in here and in here and in here and where you need to get them. Um, and just taking it slowly, um, it's, it's quite a simple job to do.